chain breaker, a chain breaker, a chain breaker, a chain A chain, breaker. chain breaker whatever has you bound the chain lord can break breaker. it whatever it is trying to hold chain you breaker. back my god's a chain breaker, chain breaker. yes he is he's oh. awesome hallelujah he's awesome. awesome hey my god's a provider provider provides for me provider. everything i need provider. he supplies all of my needs provider. he's awesome
when I think of his goodness and what is done for me when I think of his goodness and how he set me free when I think of his goodness and how he brought me out I can dance, 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 dance all night when I think of his goodness and what he's done for you when I think of his goodness and how he brought you through when I think of his goodness and how he brought you out I can dance, 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 dance all night Yeah. 
Worship him right there. Stay right there. Everybody in the building, I'm encouraging you to open up your mouth and give God the glory. I'm not going to make you. I'm going to encourage you to make a sound. Make a sound. Make, make a sound unto God. A joyful sound. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, there's breakthrough in the temple. There's breakthrough in the temple. There's breakthrough in the temple. Come on, at midnight, at midnight, at midnight, the people of God prayed and sang praises unto God. Glory to God. Everything was not going your way, but you still prayed. They were talking about you, but you still gave him praise. Anybody in here got a right now praise? A right now praise. Come on, I'm declaring right now that the Lord is in this atmosphere. The Lord is in this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus. I'm not going to cut this off for nothing in the name of the Lord. Come on, right now, right now. Give God the glory. Come on, uh, come on, come on. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Right now, right now, I want the real worshipers uh, to come to this altar and begin to bless God. Uh, I want the real worshipers uh, that know how to get a prayer through, that know how to praise God in the name of the Lord. Come on, all the ones that want something from God right now, come to the altar in the name of Jesus. Because what you need is in this atmosphere. Those of you that are online, come on. Come on, give God the praise with us right now, right now, right now. Come on, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is not a program. This is a worship experience. In the name of the Lord, we've been preaching for the last three weeks. In the name of the Lord, teaching on Wednesday nights that prayer and praise will shift your situation. Don't get tired now. Don't get tired now. Don't get tired now. Don't get tired now. In the name of Jesus. It's all about how you respond. Your, your response matters. In the name of the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible. Oh, glory to God. It's true. The devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. But God loves our worship. Come on, church. In the name of Jesus. And the prisoners heard this. Oh, glory to God. I know some of you want to know what the message is this morning. The message is one word. Oh, glory to God. I knew God was going to move through here in the name of Jesus. When you go to work, when they ask you, what did your preacher preach in the name of the Lord? I want you to tell them he preached suddenly. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Suddenly. Oh, hallelujah. Unexpectedly. Through your prayer. Through your praise. Suddenly. Come on, those that are in the pews, it's not too late. It's not too late. Glory to God in this atmosphere. God will do whatever he feels like doing. What Paul and Silas needed in Acts 16 and 25, they needed the presence of God. So they did what was necessary to invoke the presence of God. So they began to pray. They began to call on God. You might say, Pastor, we already prayed. How many know you can't pray enough? Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Well, glory to God. Come on, as you pray, the Lord is going to give you a refreshing in the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory to God. We're in revival mode right now. Glory to God. The devil didn't want you to get here. But now is the time to pray. Glory to God. One more time. Oh, glory to God. I see some of you praying fervently. I see you praying seriously. I see you praying enthusiastically. I see you praying with purpose. I see you praying in desperation. Come on church. Come on church. We're almost there as a body. I declare that God will bless us with a hundred percent. But we need you. We need you. Come on. Let's touch and agree that the Lord will be in the midst. 
midst of us. We just got through telling God that he's an awesome God. Oh, glory to God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Come on, church. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. You interceded for your neighbor. You prophesied into your into their lives. But God says, in the name of the Lord, suddenly, oh, glory to God. Is anybody ready to move into a suddenly moment? A suddenly season? A suddenly, in the name of the Lord, situation that says God is in control. God is in control. Glory to God. Some of you. You haven't kneeled down before the Lord in a long time. Come on, somebody needs to come and bow down before him. In the name, worship and adore him. Come on, church. Where prayer is taking place, where prayer is taking place, it's you and God communing and fellowshipping. It's you and God talking. It's you and God having a conversation. It's you and God and God alone. Oh, David said, Be still and know. Be still and know. Be still and know. Be still and know. Be still and know that I am God. Somebody knows he's God. And he's God alone. Talk to the God that is in charge of your situation. He is the one that can move and shake on your behalf. In the name of the Lord, I declare that no one's going to leave sick this morning. No one is going to leave disappointed. No one is going to leave broken. No one is going to leave in the name of the sorrowful. But your joy is coming back because you obeyed God and you prayed anyway. Oh, glory to God. We're going to get to the prayer in a moment but come on church let's talk to God Oh, glory to God. There's somebody that needs a refreshing in the Holy Ghost. If your spirit filled in the name of the Lord finds your heavenly language and begin to call on God and let the Lord know I need a refreshing in the Holy Ghost. I haven't spoken tongues in a long time. Those of you that are listening in the name of the Lord online, come on wherever you are. Glory to God. It's not Pentecost Sunday yet, but this is the preview. Oh, glory to God. This is the precursor to Pentecost Sunday. Come on, church. It's time. It's time for the people to come together. Oh, glory to God. If you haven't repented and turned in godly sorrow to the Lord, come on, do it now. Let the Lord know that I, I want you to forgive me of all of my sins. I come broken. I come in the messed up. But Lord, I need you to come into my life. Come now to this altar. Come now to this altar. Come now to this altar. In the name of Jesus, I declare that healing is in the room. Protection is in the room. God is covering us right now in the name of the Lord. As you praise his name, he's refreshing you in the Holy Ghost. We declare that right now that this church will not be silent. We will not be quiet. We will call on the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, the devil has tried to imprison you long enough. But the prayer, oh, glory to God, unto God is going to bring you out. Oh, glory to God. We'll get to the praise. But just start praying because you will praise him. If you pray, you'll start praising him. If you pray, you'll start worshiping him. If you pray, you'll start thanking him. Come on, think about where the Lord has brought you from. And draw nigh, draw nigh unto God. I'm encouraging you, those of you that are sitting in the pew. You may not be at the altar, but praise God on your row. Praise God. Don't look at me. Don't look at anybody that's here. But get in contact. Make a connection with God. Come on, church. Come on, church. 
Come on, church. Come on, church. There's somebody that needs to be filled with the Holy Ghost this morning. You've never spoken tongues in your life. There's some of you that have repented. There's some of you that have been baptized in Jesus' name, but you're not filled with the Holy Ghost. And there's some that need to repent. And there's some that need to be baptized. Come on, if you need to be baptized, I want you to come right here. You need to repent. You see where my hand is? Come here right now and I'll lay hands on you and you will leave here a changed man, a changed woman, a changed boy, a changed girl, a changed family. Come now. I'm getting ready to pray, y'all. I'm letting you know right now. I'm getting ready to pray. Glory to God. I'm getting ready to lay hands in the name of the Lord. You might say, what's next? Where is the message? Where is the message? The Bible says, and suddenly. Oh, glory to God. Somebody say, suddenly. The 26th verse. Oh, God, of God of Acts 16. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. Oh, glory to God. God is getting ready to shake up some things in here. He's getting ready to shake up some things in, in here everything that is hold held you bound the Lord is about to break it up on your behalf uh. let me tell you right now I feel the power of the Holy Ghost glory to God I need I, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord as I get ready to lay hands on you I want you to have something in mind that you want God to do you want God to do you want to follow the, the Paul and Silas paradigm that no matter what I'm going to pray no matter what I'm going to praise God come to this altar right now in the name of Jesus Lord right now right now now in the name of the Lord. Janae, the Lord want to fill you with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Her name is Janae, and we're going to pray for Janae that the Lord fills her with the Holy Ghost. Do what you're doing right now, woman of God. Begin to call on the Lord, and the Lord is getting ready to change your language. You're getting ready to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. I can't speak for you, but God can speak through you. All you got to do is have faith. Oh, glory to God. Greater Refuge Temple, you better get ready ready to watch God move. You better get ready to watch God move. Lift your hands, Janae. In the name of the Lord, keep praising God just like that. The Holy Spirit is a gift that you must receive. Do you have faith to believe that God will fill you right now? He's going to use your mouth. He's going to use your vocal cords. He's going to come in the inside. He's going to change your language. The Bible says at Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came, they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. The Lord's going to do it for you in the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Come on, open up your mouth, Janae, and praise him. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus, you keep praising him until the Lord fills you. That's right. She's in the right place at the right time. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Who do I need to pray for right now? Come on, Peggy. In the name of the Lord. The Lord want to fill you with the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Glory to God. He knows what those tears mean. Glory to God. Church, you better pray and not faint. Come on, pray fervently. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, I see you looking, but you need to call on God. This is Peggy. That's right. You praise him. The Lord fills you in the name of Jesus right now do it in the receive his spirit oh glory to God the Lord we serve the God we serve is doing it now is doing it now who's not filled with the Holy Spirit you've repented of your sins you you've been baptized in Jesus name but the Lord said there is more What do you want God to do? What's your name? Edward, I've seen you one Sunday after the next. This is the first time we've touched and agreed.
Glory to God. I don't know where you run off, but you're here now in the name of the Lord, and God will fill you with his spirit. Why? Because it's a gift. Glory to God. Have you repented of your sins? You've been baptized in water? In the name of the Lord, he's done the first two steps, but the next step is coming. The shall be. Oh, glory to God. Can somebody say with me, the shall be. The shall be is the Holy Ghost. The shall be is the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues, those that are listening online, God will fill you too. In the, Edward, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Glory to God. That's your, that's your daughter. Janae is your daughter, right? Oh, glory. Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing that if father and daughter got filled with the Holy Ghost on the same Sunday? How many know that God is able? I touch and agree with you, Edward. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Fill me now, Lord. Receive. Oh, that's right. Just do what your body says do. In the name of Jesus. I need some praying men. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Minister Simmons, I need you to pray them through right here, right now. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on, Edward. Come on, Edward. It's you and God. It's you and God. It's, it's you and God. Come on, Edward. Come on, Edward. It's you and God. Come on. Come on. Praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, church. I need you to pray. I need some intercessors to pray. Come on. Y'all ain't at the movie theater. In the name of the Lord, come on, pray and not faint. Come on, church. Come on, church. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. Glory to God, the glory of the Lord is here in the name of Jesus. You're a praying mother. That's why your daughter is on her face right now. In the name of the Lord, you're a praying mother. And I touch and agree that what God has begun, God will complete. Oh, receive it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, refuge. Glory to God. Don't worry about the time. Don't worry about what you're used to. In the name of the Lord, I told you we serve a God that will do what he wants to do when he feels like doing it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says that they prayed, they prayed, they prayed. They called on God until God got an answer. Come on, church. Are you ready to pray in the name of Jesus? Glory to God. Glory to God. Some of you came to the altar and went back to your seat. Come back. I'm not through yet. Come on, Doris. Come back. Come on, William. Come back in the name of the Lord. The Lord said, I ain't through with you yet. Come, come. Why you go back to your seat? You know why? Because that's where you're comfortable. Come on, Darren. In the name of the Lord, I touch and agree with you. With you and you alone and you alone. Glory to God. God's got more work for you to do. I come to tell you, we ain't clearing the aisle. Let people praise God where they are. Stay right there. In the name of Jesus. Come, come, come. In the name of Jesus. Lord, right now, right now, come. In the name of the Lord, I lay hands on you in the name of Jesus. For your healing. power of the Holy Spirit is resting, it's ruling, it's abiding. In the name of the Lord, come. In the name of the Lord, William, God started a work last week. He's not through with you yet. In the name of the Lord, lift your hands and begin to give God the praise. I believe he can fill you with the Holy Ghost if you really want it. In the name of the Lord, come on. Come on, church. Let's create the atmosphere of Pentecost. Let's call on the Lord and pray until we get an answer. In the name of the Lord, come on, receive what God has for you. Say what's in your spirit. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just stay there a moment and glorify God. Don't you feel the power of the Lord? Come on, just submit to his presence. Come on, stay right there and just praise him in the name of the Lord. Come on.
Lift your hands. Lift your hands. God has for you. It is for you. New work. Come on, let him, let him refresh you in the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a refilling. In the name. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. Come on, come on. Yes. Come on, Gail, come get your refreshing. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, just begin to call on the name of the Lord. Let him change your language in the name of the Lord. Uh, come on, he's going to do it right now. As I lay hands on you, the power of God is all over. Receive what God has for you. You're not only uh, going to get a spiritual breakthrough, uh, but you're going to get a breakthrough in your body in the name. Of, that's right. Come on, call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, there's a refreshing in the Holy... Yes, don't y'all stop praying. Come on, church, I need you to pray. People are getting refilled. They're getting filled for the first time. I'm hearing it with my own ears. Come on, Edward, God still got more for you. Come, woman of God, come, 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 come. Why you stop? Why you stop? Why you stop, Gail? Come on, in the name of the Lord, in the name... Lord, right now, right now, the Lord is changing it, rearranging it for his glory, for his glory. Come on, a refreshing in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, Tanya. God's got more for you. Come on. Y'all only understood what's taking place at this hour. That's right. Come on. Stay there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Refreshing in the Holy Ghost. There's somebody sitting in the pews. You want a refreshing in the Holy Ghost, but you're too stuck up to come up here. Come on now and let God show you that he's mighty. Show you that he's strong. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm so glad Roberto came. I was 30 seconds from calling him up here. In the name of the Lord, man of God. Come on. something with the men this morning. Come on, y'all better call on his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, right now. Lord God, I just ask you to take over in the name of the Lord. Simply that. Just take over. Glory to God. It ain't much more to say, Jennifer, but let God take over in the name of the Lord. Say it again. Take over, God. In the name of Jesus, take over. Take over. Oh, they prayed. They prayed and they cried. They prayed and they cried. At midnight, glory to God, they prayed. But the Bible says they didn't stop praying. But the Bible says they began to sing praises unto God. Oh, 
uh, they began to say the things to God that they that he already knew uh, about himself. Uh, glory to God, when you're in a hard situation, uh, you got to call on God, uh, but you got to change your prayer into a praise uh, that says the Lord is good. Uh, you may be at midnight, uh, but the Lord is awesome. Uh, hallelujah. You may be sick in your body, uh, but the Lord is a healer. Uh, you may be confused in your mind, uh, but the Lord will say, let this mind uh, be in you. Uh, come on, church. Uh, your prayers are working. Uh, your praise is working. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, it's not too late uh, to come to the altar. Uh, there's somebody uh, you've never been buried uh, in the waters of baptism, uh, and the Lord is saying it's time uh, to go down in the water uh, for yourself. Uh, come now, going down, your sins are buried with him. Oh, somebody ought to praise him right now. Those of you that are baptized, your sins were buried in that water. In the name of the Lord, your sins are under the blood. Oh, somebody ought to praise him. You came up out of the water. And so the word of God says that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Oh, somebody ought to praise him right now. Why, glory to God, do we want you to repent? Why should you be baptized in his name for the remission of sin? Why should you be filled with the Holy Spirit in the evidence of speaking in tongues? Because the Lord is coming soon. It may be morning. It may be night. It may may be nude but he's cracking the sky very soon you know, I got a few people in here that are rapture ready will you give God the praise the Lord could come before the benediction the Lord could come before Monday morning are you ready if you're ready give God some praise ask your neighbor are you ready and they can't say yes come to the altar if you're not filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues come to the altar if you're not baptized the water is ready come on give God the praise in this place because for somebody I say on this week because of your prayer and because of your praise God is getting ready to do something suddenly somebody say suddenly look at your neighbor and say suddenly we prayed we cried we're praising God but the Bible says and suddenly such street people go across the aisle and say suddenly they're gonna feel your anointing Suddenly, 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 oh, the Lord of God, go across the aisle, tell somebody, suddenly, suddenly, let me come back here, suddenly, suddenly, if you give God some praise, he'll give you something that's unexpected, you didn't know it was coming, look at somebody and say suddenly, 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 you've been waiting, oh God, you've been waiting suddenly for an answer, you've been waiting for a breakthrough, the Lord said suddenly, because the Bible says, Said, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he cried unto me, and he heard, I said he heard, he heard, he heard my cry, Isaiah said, that they, that wait, they, that wait, in the 
prison cell they that wait in the doctor's office they that wait behind your desk they that wait in your business they that wait on your family they that wait upon they that wait upon the Lord shall look at somebody and say shall shall renew their strength tell your neighbor I'm brand new tell your neighbor I've been through but I'm brand new I've been through but I'm brand new. I've been through the waters. But I'm brand new. They call me out of my name. But I'm brand new. They judge me and put me under their microscope. But I'm brand new. They that wait upon the law shall renew their strength. Tell your neighbor, I'm strong. Tell somebody, I'm strong. Because power belongs to God. Shall renew this strength, Mario. They shall mount up. They shall mount up. They shall mount up. They shall mount up. I and you are in your suddenly season. Look at somebody and say suddenly, suddenly revival has come to greater refuge. Suddenly revival has come to you. Revival has come to you. Revival has come to greater refuge. Suddenly, give God the praise. Tell your neighbor, I was bound, but now I'm revived. I was bound by the enemy, but suddenly, I dare said, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to the mountaintop. They shall mount up. I'm no longer eye level. They say, mount up, Lord of God. I'm so glad that this morning I'm not in a dead church. I'm in a church where the people are presenting their bodies by the mercies of God. A living sacrifice. Oh! and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service it's just reasonable to give him praise it's just reasonable to clap your hands it's just reasonable to jump for joy it's just reasonable to bless his name it's just reasonable to adore him it's just reasonable to extol him tell you neighbor it's just reasonable oh give him praise they shall mount up on wings as eagles they shall run yeah 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 I feel like running 
glory. Will y'all run with me? Come on. Get behind me. Do you got enough faith? Come on. Who's gonna run with me? Come on. Shout yeah. Who's gonna run? Who's ready to run? Come on, let's do a light jar through the church in prison now. But now it's time to run in the lockup. But it's time to run. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Run and not be weary. 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 Walk. Come on, church. Yes. Run. Run for Jesus. Run because you're healed. Run. Uh, you're certainly seen 
Praise the Lord. Come on, everybody in this building. Come on, open up your mouth and praise him. What is the message this morning? Suddenly. Acts 16, 26. And suddenly. We haven't even got to the earthquake yet.
of the Spirit of the Lord. The sweetness of God revealing himself in a difficult, complex, oppositional situation. But Greater Refuge Temple, I praise the Lord. I'm just starting this series. You have held on to your prayer life. You have held on to your praise in spite of God has given you joy unspeakable and full of glory. He is not through with you yet. And the best is yet to come. Your greatest impact will be in the spirit realm. I said your greatest impact will be in the spirit realm. The things that God blesses you with in the tangible is just a bonus. How many know we serve a God of bonuses? Because he says if you're faithful over a few things, he'll make you ruler over many. Get ready to make impact in the spirit. Now my approach was a little bit different this morning. I was getting ready to talk about foundations and earthquakes and open doors and loose shackles. But the Lord said, deal with that one word first. Stay tuned. Next week, God's got more for us. Suddenly. Lord says so next Sunday, next is communion Sunday, it'll be somewhat of a non-traditional message, but we need it, don't we? We need it this moment as a church, and the thing that's blowing my mind is God is just getting started. How many are glad they came to church today? I'm glad you came. I just love to see God blessing his people. How many felt the power of the Holy Spirit? How many received a refreshing of the Holy Ghost? I heard people at the altar just speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. Hallelujah. Little Joshua, he's ready to run. So good to see the Lord healing his body in the name of the Lord, in Jesus' name. We are preparing ourselves to worship the Lord in our giving. While you're preparing your seeds as unto the Lord, just want you to keep Minister Eric Johnson in your prayers. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Had to, had to have surgery, had to go to the hospital. He told me I could put him on the prayer list. I could share with you all that he needs your prayers. In the name of the Lord, I just want you to remember District Elder David Boyd in your prayer, in your prayers for Christ Temple. I want you to pray fervently for Elder Boyd in Jesus' name. I want to see you in prayer and Bible study from 6 to 6.55. We're going to stay on this flow of thanksgiving, praise, and worship. I, I mean, I, I mean... Lord has given me so many thoughts, I can, I can stay on this subject for the rest of the year. But we'll see what the Lord says in Jesus' name. So let us study the word of God together. Some of you, I've never seen you online, and I know you've got a phone, I know you've got a tablet. So if you're not working and you can spend 55 minutes undistracted, please join us on a prayer and Bible study. I want you to vote on tomorrow. There's a special election, 26th Congressional District on tomorrow, so go to the polls in the name of the Lord and exercise your civic duty in the name of the Lord. You can't complain about what's going on in your community, what's going on in your county, what's going on in your state if you don't vote in the name of the Lord. So please do that in Jesus' name. So let's prepare to worship the Lord in our giving. If there's anyone at the conclusion of 
the offering that desires to join Greater Refuge Temple and make Greater Refuge Temple your church home. We receive you with open arms in the name of the Lord. And those of you that may be here for the first time, this is what God does in our services every now and then. He just says, you know, put down what you studied and let me flow. And then I'll give you an opportunity at some point to get around to it. But I thank God for yielding to the Holy Spirit. I thank God for letting God do what he wants to do. Not that we wanted to do anything that was out of order, but sometimes he changes the order in the name of the Lord. And I'm glad he changed it today in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let us prepare to sow. You can sign on to givelify.com. That's G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y.com. You can log on to grtchurch.org. That's our website. There's a giving link giving button that you can click on and you can sow. It's a PayPal link. And also, those of you that desire to sow via Cash App, we'll get a, we'll get a, a picture on this soon so you can see the Cash App um, address. It's dollar sign GRT 943. All small letters. Dollar sign GRT 943 if you want to give via Cash App. And we want to thank God for those that sow electricity that are sowing electronically during the week, dropping off their tithes and offering either via mail or coming down personally to the church. We thank God for you. We thank God for our listening audience this morning. If you're listening via the internet, we want you to click uh, on the link just above the video that you're watching, and you can sow that way. This ministry is blessing you and yours in the name of the almighty God in which we serve. I feel good in my soul. What about you? In the name of the Lord. Isn't it? It's just, it's just wonderful to come to church and feel his presence. You know, there's something about when you feel the presence of God by yourself, but it's a whole nother ball of wax when you feel the presence of God with other folk. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nobody in here should be mad but the devil. In the name of the Lord. We told the devil he had to go about, you know, 45 minutes ago. We are just grateful for the presence of the Lord. I'm not going to apologize for getting stuck. Because we need this in Jesus' name. Wait till we get to the worship segment. Lord, have mercy. I don't know what's going to happen in the Lord. So at this time, let us prepare to sow so that we can continue to move forward as a church. Glory to God that you would be faithful to give to the seed of good success because this is the year of good success. There's a good success seed in 824 above your tithes and offerings, and some of you have completed that. And then there is a greater work seed of $1,000 above your tithes and offerings, and some of you have completed that. God for you, but let us do this as unto the Lord so we can move forward what God has in store for us in the name of the Lord. It takes finances to maintain a building of this size. So just, you know, just think of your, your personal, your personal upkeep of your own household and multiply that a few times, sometimes 10 times. So it's your giving that allows us to exist as a church. I must remind you that during COVID, many churches closed and never reopened. But I give God the praise that we're still here on the corner of Jefferson and I. Oh, put your hands together in the name of Jesus. And we're going to continue to move forward in the name of the Lord. So stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. And if you're giving, if you're giving electronically, you can, you can uh, touch a device on this receptacle. Uh, or you can put your hand on the receptacle in the name of the Lord. And I'll touch and agree with you that the Lord will bless your seed. If you sow a seed, you have a right to expect a harvest. Amen? How many are expecting a harvest? I got some good news for you. Jesus is the Lord of the harvest. He's the Lord of the harvest. He's over it. In the name of the Lord, so expect it. In Jesus' name.
Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you in the beauty of holiness. We come before you to say that we are grateful for all of your manifold blessings. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing us in our spirit, soul, and body. We thank you for giving us increase that we can sow in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, this morning, our tithe and our offerings, our special seed, the good success seed, the greater work seed. We thank you for the people of God that have been faithful, that have allowed this ministry to move forward, to exist, but to exist with intention, to exist with purpose, with a plan that is ordained by you. We thank you and we praise you because it is our belief that you will continue to save, deliver, and set free as we reach out to the lost. We just thank you and we praise you for those that you have blessed today, special in a marvelous way. At this time, we take this time to give back a portion of what you have given to us. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. Repeat after me, this is my tithe. I give it as an expression of my covenant with God. It is a reflection of my love, honor, and obedience. I declare that the windows of heaven are open and blessings will flow in my life. I will never be broke. That's prophecy. Prophesy to yourself and say, I'll never be broke. Prophesy to your neighbor, say, you will never be broke. Say, I reject poverty. I embrace prosperity. I thank God. I am a tither. I thank God. I am a giver. Come from the rear. Please, everyone, walk so no one has to walk over you. In the name of the Lord, let's do this as unto the Lord. Touch your device. Touch your hand to the receptacle. In the name of the Lord, I'll grab these from you. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. 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 Blessing upon your seed, in Jesus' name. Blessings upon your seed, in the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Blessings upon your seed, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just remain to the conclusion of the service. We're all going to leave here together, in the name of the Lord. And I was informed last night that Sister Destiny had a fire. Sister Missionary Destiny Burks had a fire. And Sister Destiny, we want you to know that we are praying with you and for you in Jesus' name. That everything that you lost is coming back and more in the name of the Lord. So what we, what we want to do on next Sunday, Lord God, is we're going to raise an offering to bless her in the name of the Lord. Can we do that? We're going to raise an offering. So I want you to, I want you to bring a seed in the name of the Lord, and we are going to let her know that we love her, that we care for her. When you've lost everything in the name of the Lord, hallelujah. How many know the saints can help in the name of the Lord? And that's, what, that's the kind of church that, that we want to be in the name of the Lord. So we're going to do that as unto the Lord in Jesus. Is that all right? I don't hear you. Do this as unto the Lord in, in Jesus' name. God has been faithful. We love Sister Destiny and her contribution that she has made to the body of Christ in the name of the Lord. So at this time, if there's anyone under the sound of my voice that may need a church home, you want to make Greater Rep Temple your church home, we haven't done this in a while, you can do so. You can come to the front and we'll pray over you and pray for you and there may be some of you that are thinking about joining Greater Refuge Temple. I, I respect people that uh, just don't bounce from church to church, but they test, the, they test drive the church a little bit. They come a few times to make sure that they're not joining emotionally or joining because, you know, for any other reason with the exception that the Holy Spirit is leading you here. So our doors are open. If you need a church home, we are here to receive you in the name of the Lord. We are going to continue to be the church that builds people for greater works. Let me give you the short version. Jesus said he would go unto his father and he said, greater work shall you do because I've made that decision to ascend unto my father. Greater works, not, in, not necessarily in power, but in volume. We have the power.
power to reach so many people with the word of God. And every scripture that I preach, every subject that I teach to you should bring, bring you closer to your purpose in God when you exercise the fact that you are the grandson of the pastor. You can just walk up here when you feel like it. But anyway, um, that every scripture should bring you closer as you, as you respond to it, to your purpose in the earth. Glory to God. We've been preaching about prayer and praise. That prayer and praise life is not just for you. It's for others. It's for intercessors. We don't want to just have, you know, now pra praise is emotional. I have to go down this road. Praise is emotional. Don't get me wrong, but it's not emotionalism. And, and, and some of you are, you know, you're sitting back and you're watching people praise God. But we have to realize the prisoners heard Paul and Silas. And, and we haven't even gotten to the fact of what that, what they heard bless them. So listen, you can't praise for somebody, but your praise can encourage somebody. Oh, glory to God. You know, and of course, we can pray for other people. Some of us are here as a result of somebody else's prayer. I didn't get here because, you know, I was born on the right side of the tracks. I was praying because some, I'm here because somebody prayed for me consistently. Glory to God. And we are here as a result of somebody else's prayer. So we thank God today. We have we have prayed Reverend 30. I'm inviting as many people as possible to come before the church service for between 8.30 and 9. And I also, you know, um, encourage you to be in service, but to bring somebody with you. Let us grow together. So we have prayed. We have praised God. Lord knows we've worshiped God. We've laid hands, Lord to God, this morning. We have shared the gospel of Jesus Christ. What was the message today? Oh, glory to God. I'm going to have more one-word messages in the name of the Lord. I try not to make them too long, but suddenly, go to the scripture and read that scripture and really see the power of suddenly what got them there. We've shared the word of God. We've offered the plan of salvation. We've seen people revived in the spirit, filled with the spirit, going back to their heavenly language, speaking in other tongues in the name of the Lord as the spirit of God gives the utterance. I look in the camera and say, we believe in speaking in tongues. We believe not only speaking in tongues, but we believe in the Holy Spirit that gives us the power to do so. Stand to your feet in the name of the Lord. I've held you long enough. Have a wonderful day with your family. Have a blessed week. This is the first day of the week. I'm expecting the great things on this week in the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor suddenly. Let the words in my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in Jesus' name, let the church say, amen. God bless you, Greater Refuge Temple.